no autographs, no pictures. No. <laughs> That's my initial reaction when people find out I'm a star. I'm a WBE star and I make tree-free paper products from sugar cane and bamboo. So we are back here getting ready for the panel. We are about to rock this. <laughs> These women are game changers. They're innovators. They are disruptors in the best way possible and they are ready to do business with you. Hi, I'm Terry Lehman. We manufacture tree-free paper products, including bath tissue, facial tissue, beverage napkins, recyclable cups, and bamboo straws. My name is Rhonda Jackson, and I am humbled to be sitting in front of you, for it not be for the teams that have brought all of us here today. And at Decor, we understand that 50% of your team members are making a decision about being in your company based on your interiors. So we design, furnish, and maintain commercial and federal spaces and bring you happy, healthy, and productive workplaces. My name is Lynn Perenic. My business is Argent Tape and Label. And I'll tell you what differentiates Argent Tape and Label from the average label company, and that's that we're open book management. We are also a 3M distributor of industrial adhesives and tapes. Hi, I'm Karen Schweitzer from Creative Resources. We are uh, branded merchandise experts. We are a team of 23 from Minneapolis. And I would say that one of the things that differentiate us is that we build company stores from the ground up. And we created a new platform that allows for peer-to-peer -peer recognition. So our segment today is really talking about the entrepreneurial ecosystem. WeBank knows that there are hundreds of components to the ecosystem, right? So Terry. You, as one of our WBEs who has products, right, in the venues of a few of our WeBank corporate members out here, how has being a part of the WeBank network impacted your business? Well, it's because of this that I'm actually in Disneyland, Disney and Walmart's uh, Sam's Club stores. What you get is the opportunity to meet with them, but you have to be prepared. You know, I, when I went to Disney, I went to every single one of their bathrooms and every one of their napkin stands, and I put everything in a Ziploc bag, and when I went to the meeting, I had everything laid out so that they could see what they were purchasing. And I got the contract. Round of applause for that, right? Con contacts to contracts, that's what we're all about. So we make is its own ecosystem, right? We talked earlier about the amazing programs that we provide, and one of those being our Tuck Week Bank Executive Program. I would like for each of you to share just some nuggets on what impact attending that amazing program has had on your business. Rhonda, I'll start with you. It really transformed my business. So taking components from leadership and finance and money and metrics, the, the thing that I did the day after we started the program is I fired myself. So <laughs> I, I'm no longer the in, Decor Interior Design's interior designer. I'm Decor Interior Design's CEO. And Tuck gave me that infrastructure and that organizational development to empower my team and really lift me up to become CEO of my company. You know, we often say CEO does not have to mean chief everything officer, right? <laughs> it, it doesn't. And so that's amazing. Karen, how about you? What nuggets did you take away and how did it impact your business? I think all of these opportunities really just strengthen our relationships. So within Tuck, I think what we learned is that if you're going to grow organically, which can be difficult when you talk about access to capital and you talk all of that, that you need to have your infrastructure in place. And so the only way that we as a company can grow organically and beyond is to grow by acquisition, which we did in January for our first acquisition, which was really, really exciting. And then it also trickles down to the diversity piece of ensuring that we keep those contracts in place to keep the certification in place. So the company we acquired was one that gave us a boost in revenue because that infrastructure was in place. We know developing really key advisory networks is essential to the business. So I would like for you to tell us how do you identify people to surround yourself with, like corporate members, WBEs, you know, who do you surround yourself with? I try to surround myself with innovators and positive people. Actually, the WBENC and my local chapter, RPO, has really enabled me to access those key people. 
So surrounding yourself with the right people is essential to the success of your company. And having people that are positive and innovative and come to you with a solution, that's who you want to surround yourself with. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Karen, thank you, Lynn, thank you, Rhonda, and thank you, Terry, for joining us today. Give them a great round of applause. I always go by the old adage, do something that terrifies you every day. And so this terrified me, but it was a great experience. And you said yes. And I said yes. <laughs>